Welcome back again, guys. It is another glorious evening. The night of day three. And we're back at the at the club, at the house, at the the cozy little place that we're staying. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting spikes around the outside of the building, getting ready for the night. We already got some spikes cooking up in here. Personally, I like the wood spikes because they cost way, way less than like the other log spikes that they have. I like to put them too thick along here. Do, 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 do. And especially just starting out, these are super easy to get a hold of and everything. Sometimes the grass can make them kind of come out weird. Throw them down along here. Also going to look around, make sure there's no zombies popping out behind us. I've been working on Spike Road all the gosh darn day. Actually, I'm going to cut down trees so that I can make this all day. I did do a little bit of cutting and stuff while you guys were not here. Sorry for that. I just figured I would harvest a little bit more of the materials before I started recording again because, you know, you guys don't need to see all that nonsense. There's going to be so much of it. There's crazy, crazy amounts of me just like chopping trees down and digging holes and all sorts of nonsense. So I like to make these too thick at least, at the very least. Oh look, and we got more skill points. How nice. We're going to need those. We're definitely, definitely going to need those. Okay, let me put another one right here. And yep, even some more right along here. Be really careful not to slide in though. You're going to slide down that little hill and fall into the side of your spikes and that is not going to be good. Not for anybody. Okay, can't put it there because of the side of that thing. That's fine. Alright, almost done. Looks like we might even have a few extra afterwards. Let's put this down. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so something I said in an earlier episode is that the zombies are not supposed to run at me. And what I meant by that is because since I am a baby, and I don't like it when things run at me, especially when I'm trying to hit them, I turned off the running zombies. Somehow, it feels like every time I turn off the running zombies, they still run at me in the middle of the night. And I'm sure some of you are just going to be like, haha, well yeah, they should run at you. And yeah, true, true, fair. Very fair. <laughs> but <laughs> I still don't like it. Oh, what do I want to throw away? Okay. And you know what? I don't, I don't like having trash on my porch. Oh. And it's just going to drop a trash backpack. Okay. That is also fine. Let me go ahead and put some stuff away. Because you know how I love putting stuff away. Let's put the coffee beans away and the chrysanthemum mums. I'm going to hold on to the sandwiches. Put the raw iron in there. And the crushed sand. We don't need it. We don't need it. Like, not at all. Oh, but the burning barrel I was going to put outside. Also, while you guys were away, I found a dead body with some ammo on it, some steel arrows. No big deal, right? Right. Did I close the door? What is wrong with me? Oh my goodness. I just left the door wide open. I'm gonna die. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everyone's alive. We're doing good. I'm gonna cut this down and I'm gonna put some arrow slats right here. Oh, we're gonna break down our shutters. Not our shutters. I shudder to think what the previous owner of this house would think about that. Okay. Womp womp. Bad fun. Let's go ahead and put the 
iron, or not iron, but the scrap metal. These, these dealies, we're gonna go ahead and throw these right here. So we have a nice little vantage point to see out. Do I only have the two torches in here? And the candle? I'm gonna, you know what, we still have to do the upstairs. Let's do the upstairs. Woo. It's so spooky up here. Let's start with some torch light, just to, you know, lighten everything up. We're gonna put one here. Actually, let's put one to either side of the door, because I like symmetry. And I, I hear them. I hear them. I wonder if they sense my torches. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> I am very scared. I am very scared. Do they see me? No, I don't like it. Go away, no one's home. See, it sounds a lot like they're running and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Are they? They came right up my porch, didn't they? They sound like they're on my front porch. Those bastards. They were not invited. Uh, there's just gonna be like a bunch of them down there, huh? One's wandering off. He's just he's just wandering away into the distance. That's the kind of zombie guest that I like, is the kind that wanders off into the fog and ignores me. Cause I'm not even doing nothing. Well since we're not doing anything. Whee! I do not wanna fall off. But also, I totally want to lead them onto my spikes. Oh, she popped her leg. Well, what are you even doing, girl? You're just being crazy. Okay, that didn't even look like I shot it. Oh my goodness. So, have I mentioned lately that I'm like really bad at this? Oh, because my bow is a crappy little bow. Let's just go ahead and uh, scrap it and make a new one, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know I love to scrap it and make new ones. Let's see what level it is. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, 103. What was our last one, like level three? And this is 103. So much nicer. Where'd she go? She's gonna make me come down there and like tell her to her face that I already accepted Jesus into my heart and like I'm not interested in her zombie religion. Look what she did to my door! Oh, she's messing up my door! Okay, okay. That's not even okay. I'm not even, you know what, I'm not even, not even mad, I'm not even mad, I'm just gonna go like this, put slits in my floor, should I do it like this, or should I do it like this, I think I want long ways, okay, we're doing it you guys, we're doing it, And then I ran out. Okay. And... Did she bring more friends? She... Oh! Ah! My goodness! They're so rude! I can't even believe how rude they are. Let's just... Let's just beef this up a little bit for like a second. No. Like, no. Like, you're so rude. How dare you. Ugh. 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 They are so rude. 
Okay. I'm gonna have to just bust this out and tell them no to their face. <sighs> Why do they do this to me on, on day four, you guys? It's not even like the seventh day or anything. I bet they're trying to like pull stuff off my door. You know, that is just like them. That is just like those zombies. Those silly zombies. Okay, that is not the button I meant to press. You know, I really wish I had the iron bars already, but I just don't. Let's see if we can search it. Hard metal door, iron arrows, iron desk, pressure plate, iron table. Scrap iron, scrap stairs. Is anyone seeing it? I don't see it. I just don't. Oh, maybe it's metal or steel. What do you guys think? I'm super. Is that a pig? I heard a pig. It's very scary. Why? Why are they doing that? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's try metal. Why? Why are they bothering me? I didn't do anything to them. Reinforced metal siding. I'm like super not finding it. Ugh. Hey, hey you. I don't want any! You go away! So, this is actually a pretty valid defense. And you can also search him through the door. He got some potatoes. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that was very sad. He didn't stand a chance. Hmm. Just like a lot of online gamers. No. Just kidding. Like we have already established, everyone, I am a pansy. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this wall out too. And also, did we make more arrow slats? Arrow slats. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Arrow. Arrow slit. I keep calling them slats, but they're slits, I guess. Not slats, just slits. Okay, that's fine. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to make like a bunch more just because I eventually want to cover the entire outside of the second floor of the house in these so that I can also shoot down at them in the middle of the night or during the blood moon. Hopefully during the blood moon and not like every single night like this. You're going to have some nights that are like this. You're also going to have some nights where, you know, all's quiet. There's no zombies anywhere in the distance. And it's so lovely. But also very rare. What else can we craft, you guys? Oh, I know you guys are looking at those arrows. Oh, you know I love some arrows. Especially because I am running so, so low on of the arrows. Let's make as many as we can. Eventually, I also want to make this blunderbuss. But we need some forged iron for that. Oh, and we're so cold. It is chill. Oh god, what am I doing? Let's chop this down before we forget to chop it down. Because the last thing I want is to chop down a block just so that I can rebuild that block because I'm dumb. Okay. So we're still making the arrows. There we go. I'm gonna swap these out for the spikes. Just 
put them anywhere. And also, boom, just like that. Looks kind of silly. Does not give you the best space to shoot through. But honestly, it works a lot nicer when you're using them around the outside of your house. So, what did you shoot? Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. Gazim tight Ted myself. And where is my stove? Oh, let's use this. Let's throw the cooking pot in here. And also some of our wood. Oh no, I feel another sneeze coming on. Oh no, the sneezes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Anyway, and now I'm gonna keep sniffling. This is gonna be terrible. I will be right back while I warm myself by the fire. Let's also actually let's start that. And also boiled water. Thank you very much. tried to hurry back. Also, I can't edit this. I don't really have a working computer right now. I'm an old person. It's a long story. I'm 29. Please forgive me. I don't have a computer at the same time that I have a PlayStation 4. It's just, it's just not how my life is right now. So that's what's going on with me. How are you? Good. Good. Good to hear. I'm glad. Okay. So no zombies came and ate our faces off while I was away, which is super great. Ooh, I can also beef these arrow slits up. Arrow slits, yes, I said it correctly. Arrow slits. But I also hear weird spooky things outside. So, let's see. Again, how far away this is. I think we can make it, you guys. I really do. I really, I think we got this. <laughs> also, let's use our bone shiv. Right? Yes, right, yes. And get the most out of this. Because you know, I love getting the, the best deal for my, for my bone shiv. Ooh! Is that pears? I think it was a can of pears. How nice. In this apocalypse. Okay, taking all of their stuff. And see, the two layers of spikes actually does a really good job. I mean, that wasn't very many zombies, and they did come literally right up my freaking porch, which we're gonna have to do something about that. You know what? You know what? You know what? I think... I think I have an idea. I think I actually have a really, really brilliant idea of something that we can do to protect our porch. It's gonna be really weird, but I think, no, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I have an idea of something we can try. Don't know if it's gonna be successful. Put the SMG away for now. It's going to give me a false sense of confidence. I'm going to be like, ooh, look at me. You can't defeat me. I have a gun. And then I'm going to run out of ammo and just be like, oh, no. So. Yep, yep, yep. 
let's let's get this this nest really quick. Let's, let's do it. Some feathers. Some, another nest. Just some more food. Am I thirsty again? Well, you know what? You know what? I just the thing. A bunch of water. Ah, uh, and it's so cold. Okay, what happened to my shirt? I know I had a shirt. I left it in that chest, didn't I? Oh, man. Okay, well, good news, everybody, because we've got a whole bunch of cloth fragments right here. So, why don't I just go ahead and make some cloth chest armor? Ta-da! Hopefully that'll warm us up a little bit. And actually, ugh, we are terrible at crafting cloth stuff. It's fine. It's fine. We could probably also use like a bandana and some leg armor. Can we craft? Is this leg armor? It is. It is cloth leg armor. Let's craft a little bit of that too. Let's also go ahead and craft some torches since we have some animal fat. You know I love the animal fat. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And we're probably hungry, so yep, let's eat the pears. We're gonna eat them. We're gonna eat them. We're also gonna put these these pant legging armor things on. Yes. I know the words and the language. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Drink this. Also this. <laughs> Also, a little bit of this. And let's eat some snowberries, because, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, uh, I'm so afraid of eating too many and getting sick. But also, I need to eat. Ugh, my character. See, this is one of the problems about being in this type of environment, this biome that we're in right now, is because if you don't have certain types of clothing, you you get so cold and so hot so easily, and you're overheating and you're freezing to death constantly, and it just it makes the game so, so much more difficult. It really does. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire on just so I can warm up by the fire and all of this nonsense. So I really don't like that this is just open. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna throw a, a wood frame on there. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's happening. Wood frame's going up. Also fixing it. It's so nice. It's so warm. What would I ever do without it? I would just die. I would literally, I would literally just die. Okay. So, I really like that the bottled water can stack. I don't like that the canned bottle of water does not stack. I mean, it doesn't really even make any sense. Throw that out. Because I don't need it in my life. So. Okay. We're gonna go get this airdrop. Because we can. Or should I do the thing first that I was trying to tell you about with the... With, with the this and the, and the that and the things. Okay, I'll show you and tell you what I was thinking. Okay, so what if I get rid of all of this part of the front porch and I might need to dig just a little bit, but if I dig just like a one deep, I can put spikes all through here. And then when I put spikes down in here along there, I can put trap doors over the top 
because I saw this in a previous video where someone had used trap doors to make a bridge. So when they close the trap doors, you can walk on top of it, but when you open the trap doors, then you would just fall through. And then all the zombies would fall through basically when they like opened all the doors for their bridge. So if that made no sense whatsoever, I will show you when I am done. <laughs> Go ahead and scrap these. Uh, make some more. You no, know I love making more. Even if I can only make one. Okay. I will probably have to uh, go find more rocks and stuff. In a bit. In just a bit. The only problem that I'm thinking might happen, actually is if I do dig like a small pit or something down here, what if the zombies start to pile up in a certain way where they start digging underneath my house? And that has the potential for like making parts of your house like cave in and, and, and give way and stuff just because certain, physic certain physics aspects in this game are more realistic than you know, games like Minecraft, where, I mean, at least last I checked, you could build however many long, and you'd be fine. But in this game, if you build a few too many in one direction, your entire little bridge would collapse. And it's not nice, it's just, it's not cool for nobody. I really wish we had, like, another mission right now. But eventually, we will find one. Either on a zombie, or while we're looting a house, somewhere, some way, there will be another mission. But for now, we're just gonna furbish up our nice little cozy cabin in the woods. And also beef up some more of our defenses, probably. I'm probably gonna want to put another layer or two of wooden spikes around the the whole house. Did you hear that? Did you hear something? Am I going crazy? Maybe it's just the wind outside. It is so windy. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. Okay. Let's dig a dig. A dig a dig a dig. Now I don't know how far down I want to dig. Probably not very far down. I just want to kind of make like a more more spike pits and spike traps in here. And that might actually be a bad thing. I might fall into it and kill myself. Who knows? But we will see. We will find out how this works. I really hope that the spikes are not too big for where the top of the trap doors are going to be. Because that could also create some problems. La, da, 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 da. <coughs> oh, sorry, got got dirt in my mouth while I was while I was shoveling shoveling away. Oh, look, our stamina is like super low. We can actually drink some more water because that's gonna give us stamina. Like so, I super enjoyed that. And also, oh god, snowberry. I'm so, so nervous about those snowberries. We really need to make more meat. And also, scrap the heck out of this wooden shovel. Scrappity scrap scrap. Craft another one on Shmoo. And in just a second, a better, newer stone shovel. How nice. How nice. Okay. We are almost done. Almost. We're so close. And I know you're going to be wondering, like, but Star, how are you going to get out of here once you dig this hole? Well, I'll tell you. But probably in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Really hope you come back for more next time. I hope you guys find these entertaining and everything. And I hope you guys have a great night and wonderful day. All of that good stuff. And thanks so much.
Have fun. Have